Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're looking at M Transition Tear. Now on to the tutorial. Once you have installed M Transition Tear via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions. M Transition Tear comes with 50 transitions. There are going to be around 21 custom transitions, nine transitions labeled extra drop zone, and then the remaining 20 transitions are going to be pre-animated. So let's start really quickly with a few custom and then we can look at extra drop zone, pre-animated, and then a couple more custom at the end that are really unique. I do also want to mention the M Transition Tear is a fantastic tool that can go really well with our other pack M Transition Paper Rip. These can be used for a wide variety of videos from music videos to lifestyle videos, vlogs, promotional videos, and more. So if you'd like to get a real-time preview of what these will look like, simply take your cursor and skim over the top of each transition and you will get a real-time preview in your canvas there. To apply M Transition Tear, simply click and drag in between the two clips that you would like to have the transition happening with. And then you can see there's our transition and it goes into our next scene. You can see we have a set now of three on-screen controls. So we've got this on-screen control here to the left is our left tape for position, scale, and rotation. We then also have our right tape for position, scale, and rotation. And then we have our center, and that is going to be the entire little portion here. So if you wanted to move that around, you could do so. I kind of like it being in the center there just because it does work really well with our scene. These are set up to be really quick and easy for these specific transitions. Let's see how that looks. Cool, all right, moving on down, let's take a look at one of our pre-animated transitions. So we'll scroll down to pre-animated. And in this one, we are going to use M Transition 34. So let's click and drag in between our two clips. And I'm just using my arrows to just tap through so you can see. And then over in our inspector, we have our edge width so we can increase or decrease how much width we want of that piece of paper. We have our edge texture that we can toggle on and off if we would like, as well as our texture size. I really love the default. We have our displacement toggle that we can toggle on and off along with displacement amount and just some additional displacement toggles and options here. So if you wanted to change just the way that those look as far as where the paper edges and where the rips are happening, you can make adjustments there beneath in your inspector. All right, so let's check out how that looks. Really cool, love the pre-animated. All right, now let's go back to our custom because there are a few really unique custom transitions in here very unique especially um if you're going against m paper rip so first let's look at m transition tear number 19 which is a really really cool one and you can see here that we do have our on-screen control and we are just able to push that bit over so that looks kind of like maybe some duct tape or something like that but you can see that that pushes our footage over and then reveals our next clip. So in our inspector, we have transition mode for vertical or horizontal, just depending on the look that you want. We can invert our animation. So that's now going to animate instead on our secondary clip rather than our first. I do like on these clips specifically how it was just already kind of set up we have our mask positions that is going to be the same mask that is adjusting our on-screen control. We then have footage A position, so you can slide this over if you would like, just depending on the composition. And you can do the same for Y and Z. 
as well as the same for your footage B position. We then have footage contrast that is going to be an overall contrast on the shots, as well as pivot, saturation, and that sepia tone that we're getting. We can, of course, make changes to our tape color as well if we would like. All right, and the final transition we're going to look at, and it is one of my personal favorites, is going to be M Transition Tear at number 20. So we will click and drag that in. And you can see already there are a lot of on-screen controls here at the beginning of the transition. So I'm going to tap forward a bit, and this is where the magic happens with this transition. So in our canvas, we have our on-screen control. Here is like a master on-screen control on top for position, scale and rotation. We then have each of these on-screen controls here so that we can do a super quick and really cool outline. Let's say, you know, of course, this is already kind of set up to be a person. So if you have a person in your shot that you're wanting to kind of do an outline into the next scene or something like that, I mean, seriously, like I said, great for music videos, stuff like that. Then you do so here with these tools over in our inspector. We can invert the transition if we would like. And then we have our additional parameters that can be adjusted that are affecting these on screen controls. We have our texture opacity there along with the different black, white and gamma tools. We can fine tune these segment positions if we would like. And then below is a whole other set of parameters, which is really cool. So let's say you don't need 15 segments. You can choose however many segments you want. Personally, I like 15 for this outline. And then everyone is going to love this. We have mask mode for linear or B spline. So if we wanted that to be a nice and smooth curved outlook, then that's how we do it right here and it is really, really pretty and really nice. I'm gonna change that back to linear just cause I like these sort of jagged edges that we were getting there in this particular scene. And then beneath we have background opacity and we have noise that we can either toggle on and off or you can adjust the amount. All right, and we'll take a look at this transition. All right, and there you have it. Super cool. I really, really love that one. And that is it from me. Thank you again for checking out this tutorial on M Transition Tear. M Transition Tear is now available on motionvfx.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.